Hey everybody, today I'm going to be doing another haul. I know, I know, I know, I know. You're probably like, Rachel, you're a shopaholic and you're right. You're right. Let's see. Okay. How many times can I say, I don't know when you're going to see this video, but it's true. Like it's April 18th. And Whoa, blast from the past. I'm filming this super early whatever but basically the week that I had not like the past week because it's a Saturday not this past week but the week after before that was so bad like I've had bad bad luck and bad days and I tried to go shopping last weekend and that was an epic fail like I've just had the worst luck so I'm like this is a reward to myself but also for my schoolwork and stuff I'm like okay you made it through all those bad days you've been getting good grades um, you're gonna go shopping again. Okay, that's how it works. So, okay, I gotta go quick because I have a bunch of things. I have five different stores and an online order as well. So, I have to go through this really quickly. So, the first place I went was the Sephora inside JCPenney. JCPenney's. If any of you live in the Charlotte area, I went to Carolina Place Mall, which is the closest mall to me, but it's n the non-nice mall. So it's just the Sephora inside JCPenney, but I wanted to use the 10% off coupon for the sale. Um, I went up to the VIB because I was just a beauty insider, so you get some cool stuff with that. But so I went there and I had a gift card. I had the rest of my gift card to use, so I got some good deals. But yes, yeah, so I got some great things. You guys know I love skincare. And why I wanted to show you this um, stuff, because I know I've been showing you all Sephora stuff lately, but the Sephora inside JCPenney is really great if you want to get, like, sample things. They have a lot of exclusive sets that are incredible. So I got this. This was $35, and it's the Sephora Skin Stint Radiance. So it has a bunch of amazing skincare things. And can we just, like, talk about how gorgeous this bag is? Like, this peachy rose. And, like, oh, like, I love this. This is so cute. But so I got to go over this really quickly. You get the Peter Thomas Roth Rose Stem Cell Cleansing Gel, which is a big size. The Soap and Glory Righteous Butter Body Lotion. These are the decent size things. And the St. Tropez Bronzing Lotion Self Tanner. Those are nice size. Then the Glam Glow um, cleanser, the green one, the, um, first aid beauty cleanser, which I have and like, but I have a sample, the Murad exfoliating cleanser, the Basha Subaki oil infused exfoliating powder, which I wanted to try, the Bare Minerals Mineral Elixir, uh, oil, the Josie Moran Argan exclusive, not exclusive, intensive creamy oil, I have another sample of the Ole Henriksen Ultimate Lift Eye Gel, a teeny little one, and the Dr. Jart BB Beauty Balm. So all of those things for $35 and the 10% off coupon makes it a little bit cheaper. So that's why I got some of this stuff because I did have a 10% off. So the next thing that I got was this little set. And it is, it was $25 and it is the Lash Out set. So it has five samples and then you get this certificate to get a full size, which is incredible. So you get the Bare Minerals Lash Domination. I'll show you. The Bare Minerals Lash Domination. They come like that. Okay, they're gone now. Um, the Too Faced Better Than Sex, Tarte Lights Camera Lashes, the Kat Von D Immortal Lash, and the Buxom Lash. So, you get all five samples, which honestly, even if you didn't get the full size, I would pay $25 for this. I mean, that's $5 for a small, you know, sample, whatever. I think that's great. But the thing is, is that I'm assuming, okay, the Too Faced Better Than Sex is the most expensive at $23. So, that's the best deal. And, because I got 10% off... This was $22.50, so if I got the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, 
I would have gotten that mascara and all of this for 50 cents less than the mascara usually is. So that was an incredible deal. And then I got this, which is what I have on my lips right now. It is the Bare Minerals Pop of Passion Lip Oil Balm in Punch Pop, which is so cool. Like, the packaging is adorable, and it just matches perfectly with what I'm wearing. So it is just a kind of watermelony pink color, and it stained my lips this color. Like, can you believe that this is the stain that it left but yeah so this is really nice I love this but I'm just trying to go quickly whatever so yes the next place that I went was Mac and I'll have all the links for this stuff down below because I wanted to get two things so I got the paint pot in soft ochre and I've told you guys that I want a skin tone matte and yeah, this is a more yellowy one, so got that, wanted that. And then while I was at Sephora, I was looking at roller balls, and I almost got the Dolce & Gabbana light blue, but it said roller ball, but it was a spray, and I didn't like that, so I was like, eh, whatever. So I knew about this. This is the MAC Turquatic, like, oh my god, gorgeous. And so I got the roller ball. It is very similar to the Versus Versace perfume that I wear, like, very similar. So I thought this would be nice to have in my purse. I actually have the roller ball of that. I don't know where it is, if it's at home or at school. But yeah, this smells absolutely amazing. Very kind of citrusy and light and like, can we, yeah, you can see that's absolutely stunning. So yes, and then I went to Forever 21. The Forever 21 at Carolina Place is under construction. They're expanding it. So it was just a teeny little store that I went to. Um, but I got three things. I was really looking for basics and basic t-shirts. And I did get a few, as you'll see. But so I got this top. This was like $11 or $12. $12.90. And it's just this really pretty lilac, really lightweight um, long sleeve shirt, it just has a little, um, rounded edge, but yeah, just kind of a basic top, nothing crazy, and then I got these two muscle tees, which were both $9.90, and, um, I think the, these are all smalls, so it's just a white muscle tee, but see, the thing about this is that even though it's really thin, I feel like it looks really nice. Like, the cut of this is really flattering. It's really nice. The armpits, like, aren't really deep, which I hate when they are. So, yeah, I really like that. And then I got it in the light gray color, which I know it probably doesn't look that different right now, but this one's really white, and this one's kind of like a marled light gray. So got those things. Um, then I went to Victoria's Secret to get some underwear. I know most people don't show these, but you know what? I don't even care. So they were five for 27. So I got two, okay, and I got all thongs. I mean, I'm not gonna even try to lie. But yeah, so I got two that were more lacy. So these, and then the nude. I don't know who just honks their horn. And then these are like the sports ones. And these are really cool. So I wear a lot of leggings and tight jeans, so I thought these would be nice. But yeah, so they're like this, and they're like that, I don't know, really stretchy, like athletic type material. But so I got them in this really pretty print. And then a gray, marled, and black. So whatever. Show your brand door. <laughs> and then online, my mom made an order because she had a secret reward card to use, and I wanted this bathing suit. And we had a whole bunch of other coupons. But so it is this print, which is absolutely gorgeous. And this is the, let's see, does it have the style name? No, but it's the, it's like the strappy halter. You'd be able to find it really easily. But it's just this gorgeous, like, blue, not necessarily, it's not tie-dye at all. But it's just a really pretty blue and white pattern. It's really strappy. It's a like kind of like a sports bra type fit so it's really tight it doesn't have any like structured cups or anything and then the back is just really strappy as well so it's really cool and the bottoms that I got were the ruched I don't know if it has it on here no the ruched ones and these are I don't know if they I don't know what they call them exactly but they're ruched a little bit in the front and back they're a 
smaller cuts. So they do show off a little bit of your boute, but those are really nice. I love that. It looks really nice on. And then I also got this, which is one of their new, it's like their open back varsity tee or something but it is like the gray and white one so it just looks like this it's pretty long it's really thin but it has like a total open back so if you had like a really pretty bandeau or a bra with like really cool straps or something this would look so cool over a bathing suit because it is long enough it I mean it's long so yes and then on the sleeves it just has the pink in that like tropical print on both sides but yeah this is really cozy I really love this I love all the Victoria's Secret stuff their stuff is incredible but so like you know if you had a cool bathing suit like this or whatever not this color because that doesn't fit but like you know the straps would just be out like that so I thought that was cool at least this is like the fastest haul I've ever done like I'm going super quick but on my way out I saw Sun, and I was just like whatever like I'm gonna get stuff so the first thing that I saw that caught my eye is this shirt it's really cute it's the LA hearts and all of this stuff is an extra small besides the shorts that I'll show you um, and same with the Victoria's Secret stuff that's all extra smalls but this was not on sale or anything but I actually have to go back because they forgot to take this thing off and usually I would just try to rip it off or whatever but the point of it is that it shoots out ink if you try to, you know, break it in the store or whatever. So, yeah, so that's not fun. But it's just like this. It's a really lightweight, slight, yeah, it's a v-neck. Um, but, yeah, and it has lace or, like, crochet at the bottom. And then this just, like, sits on your shoulder. Oh, my God, this is so gorgeous. The PacSun stuff is expensive, kind of. I mean, honestly, Forever 21's prices are not much cheaper than this. And the quality and the fit of the PacSun stuff, just it just fits me really well. So that was really pretty. And then I got two things from the Kendall and Kylie line because it was buy one, get one half off. So everything except that shirt that I showed you was some sort of sale, which is good. I mean, you know, it's nice to have a sale like that. But so the first thing that I got was this crop top, which is so freaking cute like if I was going to like a music festival um this is very like Coachella or just any of the, those big music festivals or just any summer concert but so it's just white and black it's a really like high neck and it like cuts like this but yeah it's just a crop top and it's a slight it's a more like rounded chevron I would say but, like I just love that it's so cute Mm, could live in that and you could pair it with these shorts which I got which are the Kendall and Kylie as well but they are just like this they're scalloped on the bottom and you can really see in this lighting that they have like an eyelet ow I just hit my funny bone on my desk um but they have like an eyelet type of thing so you can see your leg but so like I said I was on the hunt for t-shirts so I saw these. These were buy one, get one half off. So they ended up being like 10 or 12 bucks. Um, but they're just so nice. Like this one is just, I don't know. It's, they're extremely soft. V-necks, which I like. And they're just the Nolly brand. But yeah, an extra small. Pretty sheer as you can see, but I really don't care. They're kind of long. But the thing is, is that I feel like, because I tried on the gray, they didn't have the white. Um, which was whatever, um, but I feel like the black being a little bit longer looked nice, but the gray didn't. If you follow Alex or HRH Collection on YouTube or whatever, I feel like this is very her style. I know it's just a black shirt, but it's like just the fit of it is really nice, and it feels and looks a lot more expensive than it was. And so since I wasn't going to get the white or the gray because they didn't have the size, I got this one, which is cool because it's a light, it's like an oatmeal type of color. I don't know how well you'll be able to see, but it's a little bit warmer and I wear a lot of gold jewelry. So I thought, yeah, you can kind of see. It's like that tan oatmeal marled kind of thing going on. And you could tuck these into jeans or just wear them by themselves, whatever, nothing fancy. 
Um, but yeah, so those were really nice. And then I got this, which is a black muscle tee. So I got, I got everything. I got a gray, a white, a black. I knocked out all my shopping. But this was on the clearance, and it was just buy one, get one free. So it wasn't clearance prices. It was just a sale. So it is a ribbed, oh my god, this is so soft. But it's just a really high neck. Um, it has that kind of same cut like that which is so cool I know the necklace that I'm gonna wear with this in my jewelry haul I talked about wanting a black high neck muscle tee and it's for that necklace so go back and see because you'll be able to picture the outfit but it just is so nice it's a little bit more flowy it's ribbed it's sheer I just love it it's simple whatever and then the other thing that I got from the clearance was this top which is so cute if you can tell, I'm really into black high neck type of things, but it is this top, and so it goes like this. You know, I actually have a crop top very similar to this because it is lace. I hope you can see. I'm trying to see in the viewfinder. Um, and then the bottom is, like, even more lacy and sheer, but the back, it has that really pretty keyhole design, and the back is completely lace. So it's lace all the way down. And it's just so pretty and just looks so damn cute. Like, oh my god, I cannot deal. Like, I love every single thing that I got. So, yes, I spent a shit ton of money. And I'm so happy about it. I would go back and do it again. Like, the fact that I have to go back to the mall to get that security tag removed is, like, bad news. Like, mm, do I need anything else? Maybe yes, maybe no. No, the answer is no, but yes, I want it. So, you know what? Oh, well, um, whatever. So, that is everything. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Hopefully, I won't have a haul for a while. I know I need to get some a mix of things in here. But, yeah, I hope you all are having a fantastic day. Tell me where your favorite places to get items are clothing, you know, whatever. You know, the thing about not doing hauls is a total lie because I'm going to probably get some new shoes. Oh my god, as if I need shoes, right? But yeah. But yeah, and then I should be doing some reviews on like these products that I've mentioned. So yeah, 10 years later and the video is ending. So I hope you all are having a fantastic day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye everyone.